Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, teen. Hey, you guys. So I know this is a different style video. If you don't know, I have been at YouTube Black for like the last few days, so that's why I have not been able to spill any tea, create any content, and I had such an awesome time at YouTube Black, and one of the things that people told me there is that they want me to do more personal vlogs, where I just talk about whatever's on my heart, whatever's on my mind and spirit, and you know, they just get to see more of me, because I'm like super goofy, I'm funny, you know what I'm saying, outside of just spilling tea, so... A lot of people, you know, other YouTubers, my peoples on IG want these style of videos. So I'm definitely going to create them more for you guys. So I'm not look crazy right now, honey. Okay. I just woke up. I didn't get here until like almost 11 o'clock because when my mother-in-law picked me up, uh, my ex-husband's mom, I took her back to her house and then drove all the way back from Minneapolis home and just tired, 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 tired. And when you're on vacation... You know, you're not really able to do all the things that you're used to doing, like regular, you know, hair washes and stuff like that. So I took my hair down. The reason why I have on one glove, like Michael Jackson, show them on, show them on. The reason why I have on one glove is that um, because these nails have rhinestones on them. I had two, but I wanted to show you what I was talking about. These were like blinged out, rhinestones, rhinestones and stuff like that. You know, they snag your hair. They pull your hair out. So since I've been wearing these nails, I've been styling my hair with gloves. Um, but I lost a nail during baggage claim. All them bags I was carrying, y'all, when I tell them bags busted on me, it was insane. Thank goodness Freddie dropped me off at the airport early because I'd have been salty had I missed my plane, but I didn't. But anyways, um, well, I'm going to do like a slight get ready with me. And I'm going to show you guys how I take off these nails. These are glass nails with like rhinestones and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you how I take off my nails. Um, yeah. And then I'll be back and then we're just going to talk while I take these nails off and stuff like that. We're just going to talk about what the hell, you know what I'm saying, is on my mind, okay? I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I just got done brushing my teeth for sis, okay? So people always ask me what I use, what type of toothpaste I use, because I guess y'all think I have a beautiful smile. I appreciate it. So this is what I use. I basically use two different types of toothbrushes. So I have my Philips Sonic... Um, Sonic Care toothbrush. I use that in the morning and in the evenings, okay, because I brush my teeth twice a day, I use the charcoal toothbrush. Now, I tried the whole charcoal powder shit. No, honey, I wasn't feeling that. That shit gets everywhere. It gets all over your sink. It's just doing the most. I don't like charcoal powder. Plus, my sister-in-law is a dental assistant and she said it's not good for your teeth. It's very abrasive. So, I don't use charcoal powder, but I do like the toothbrush and it gets my teeth really, really clean and white. So, Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like my smile. I want to thank my mama, my daddy, my bald-headed granny. Got a beat behind like Frankenstein. Go beat, beat, beat down the Sesame Street. Ew. Y'all remember that? Oh my gosh, we was some badass little kids. How are you making a whole song calling your granny bald-headed? Like, the more I think about some of the shit we used to say as kids, I just be laughing, but we say that all the time. So anyways, let me just go ahead and show y'all this real quick. Okay, so like I told you guys, I went to YouTube Black. I had a really good time. Tea sippers, we done made it, honey. Look at the tag. I was like, yes. They treated us so wonderfully. Like, it was just an awesome time. Fun times were had by all. It was cool getting to see everybody, meet everybody. Um, like I said, I just woke up. My, I think one of my favorite things they gave me, because they gave me a lot of stuff. They had me take a lot of stuff home to the boys. I'm talking about candy and T-shirts and all types of stuff. But they gave me the brand new Pixel 4 XL. Brand new, for free. So I thought that was awesome. I can't wait to activate it. Y'all know I've tried with the iPhone. I went and spent damn near $1,100 on the latest iPhone. I tried, but I'm so team Android. I just couldn't do it. So I gave the iPhone to my youngest son because his birthday was like two weeks ago. So that was his birthday present. I gave him my brand new iPhone I've only had for like three months. So, um... I can't wait, though. I really am excited to use this. Say hey to my baby. That's Mr. Teddy right there. Say hey, how you doing? So, he like runs my bed, okay? Like, that's that's my dude right there. And he's also famous. You can catch him on Amazon. That is the teddy bear from the nighttime tea. Say hey, YouTube. 
Cat's got your tongue? Okay, it's all right, it's all right. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my nail set up here real quick. So this is my vanity station here, and this is how I remove my nails. I have this little setup. It's really good for like gel nails and stuff like that. So if you open it up, um, it's acrylic, well not acrylic, excuse me, it's acetone in there. This is that type of acetone I use to soak off. So I pour some in here. I still got all my like YouTube bracelets and shit. So I pour it all in here and I let it heat up and you soak your nails in there and that's what I do. And then if there's stuff left over, I just suck it back up and I put it in here so I don't, you know, waste it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start taking off these nails and we're going to just chop it up and have a good old conversation, okay? All right, you guys, I had to go make me some tea. It's still early. I'm tired. Look at my little spoon. Isn't it cute? That's my little teaspoon, literally. It has a little heart shape at the end of it, so I love it. And this is my mug I got from YouTube Black. Isn't that adorable? So I was like, oh, shit, we about to drink some tea out of here. It's really hot, so I just put some tea on a little teaspoon. Got my little umbrella in there. Oh, this tea is piping hot. For real, for real. Get one more sip. I love tea. Honestly, that's like my morning ritual. And you know when you drink some hot tea, you start feeling like you, you know what I'm saying, Aretha Franklin or some shit. How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. I've tried that love thing for the last time. My heart says no, 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 no. Nobody's supposed to be here. But you came along and changed my mind. Oh my gosh, that's why I love tea. Because I feel like once I get some hot tea on my throat, I just get the singing. Now, let me tell you this. There's always somebody in my house. I think my son's friend is probably downstairs. I take care of a lot of people. Like, people come through, stay the night. Now, he's been here about a month. You know, they're going through some stuff, him and his mom. Um, they're trying to move, and he didn't have nowhere to stay. And he's a good kid. You know what I'm saying? He works. He goes to school. So, I'm the type of parent, you know, I don't have a problem with, you know, kids staying here as long as you, you know, clean up behind yourself, you're respectful, all that stuff. But I know he'd be like, this girl be up early in the morning in the kitchen making tea screaming singing at the top of her lungs like i have vocal talent honey i think i am deborah cox aretha franklin and patty labelle mixed in one and even some beyonce i'm always up singing early honey i'm a singer i can be in the middle of walmart and i don't care i can be off key if, if, if a song hits my mind and spirit i have to belt it out okay i love me some deborah cox that's my song how did you get here i ain't heard that in a while okay my throat feels really good. No, 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 nobody. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I don't even like shut up. <laughs> anyway, so I'm about to soak my nails so we can get these these things off. I miss just my regular hands. Okay, did this cut off? Let me turn it back on. So I just turned it on here. So it can reheat. So basically, oh shit. Okay, so I only had to soak off two nails on this hand. So I'm happy about that. And that's one thing with the acetone, it like evaporates really, really quickly. So you're always gonna like need to pour a little bit more in. It evaporates real quick. So I'm gonna pour more in so we can get these nails off, hunty. So anyways. Let's go ahead and talk. Let's go ahead and talk about some shit. So yeah, YouTube Black was amazing. You know, it was just really awesome to meet a lot of different creators and, you know, to match personalities and faces to their channels. I will say for the most part, everyone was cool. Um, they flew people in from all over the world. There was people there from Nigeria. There were people there from Italy. There were um, South Africans there. I mean, it was just really awesome just to meet so many different people, so many different creators. They really went all out. I mean, they had to, I mean, not the fact, not just the fact that they flew us out there, paid for the hotel. I mean, food, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, they rented out Cascades, but they had to give us at least like $3,000 just worth of free stuff. They really did. So they really looked out and I'm just so happy that I was able to be a part of it this year. I had went to the smaller meetup in February, so I got to know a lot of people there. That's when I first met Amber's Closet and Shalom and Lala and everybody else. So it was cool to, you know, see them again. And um, it was just awesome.
and I got a chance to meet Nima. So shout out to her. She's just a sweetheart. It was fun. Me and Justin J had like a really, really dope conversation. And, you know, he he's really cool. You know what I'm saying? Like he took it so personally. He's like, I'm about to cry. And, you know, he was just so happy to be there. Like he genuinely really appreciated the experience. And it was really cool to meet somebody else who's also in the commentary game. And um, it was so many people, uh, Tariq Ali. And, you know, so a lot of y'all I met. And I'm sorry if people's names are escaping me right now. Now, but it was just a really cool experience so I would definitely go back you know what I'm saying if they invite me again um but yeah other than that Atlanta was fun a lot of people wanted me to stay a lot of folks were kind of upset because I didn't get a chance to meet up with them um but I was strictly down there for YouTube I did go to the Tyler Perry um oval premiere party it was an oval in the sisters premiere party and it was awesome if you're not following me on instagram my instagram is public for now okay so i have all my posts on instagram you guys can go check that out everything i posted i was on the bt red carpet i had a good time but um there were some things i noticed on social media you know in between doing everything i was doing with youtube and so I will be covering those stories later on today. But one thing I want to talk about, because I told you guys on IG Live when I went live um, two nights ago, I said I'm going to hit up on that topic more because y'all were asking me about the whole situation with Meg Thee Stallion and her makeup artist. And so if you guys don't know, her makeup artist is in his feelings because he feels like Meg should be crediting him. He, she should be shouting him out on Instagram every time he does her makeup. She should be tagging and adding him and everything else. And I can understand both parts, but one thing I've noticed with a lot of people is that people are doing too much, okay? Because I'm starting to have this happen to me now, where people will realize who I am, what I do, I'm a social media person, you know, I have some, you know, some type of following. And they'll go from, okay, I'm coming here to pay for a service, okay? I'm not asking you for anything free. And they'll be like, oh, well, I'll do your hair or your nails or you know I'll do x y and z free for you and if you can just shout me out on your platform and I'm like do you understand that I'm a brand I'm not about to shout you out for 40 dollars worth of service now if you want a shout out there are packages that you have to pay and it damn sure doesn't start at 40 dollars okay so it's just like a lot of people are really doing that and I don't think it's okay you know I can see if you weren't paid to do a job, but you're, you're getting paid to do a job and she's a brand now. So she doesn't want to shout you out. She doesn't have to because she paid you for a service. There's nothing in the contract that now because I'm coming to you to get my hair done, to get my lashes, that I'm now obligated to shout you out in front of hundreds and thousands of people without you paying for it. Like, you're not paying for advertising, so nobody's obligated to shout you out. And I think at this point, I do take offense to it because it's like, if you're doing this person's lashes or this person's nails or this person's, you know, hair, and you know they don't have a following, so you don't bother to ask them that. You just get paid in your services. Why do you feel like you can come at me the same way? So because I'm paying 60 bucks for a service... I'm supposed to give you, you know what I'm saying, thousands of dollars worth of free promotion. It doesn't work that way. And I think that's what a lot of people need to realize. And the problem I've seen in the industry is that you have a lot of people who are now attaching themselves to celebrities, right? So they feel like, okay, well, I'm such and such as quote unquote best friend. You know, I'm running around with, let's say, Black China, for example, because she's known to not pay her people anything, right? So people will attach themselves to, so people will attach themselves to these celebrities thinking that because, you know, they're their best friend or their stylist or their makeup artist, somehow it's going to catapult them to stardom. And what they find out is that it doesn't do that. Nobody cares that you're Black China's makeup artist or Meg Thee Stan's makeup artist like that. It's not that serious. Um, and if you do get some followers, if you do get some bookings from that, great. But for a majority of the people, they just don't care. They're there to follow the celebrity. I know people who have literally worked I know people who have worked with some of these celebrities for upwards of a year and did not get paid a dime. Pure point blank because of who that person was. If you guys don't know, a lot of dancers are now coming out against Todrick Hall. And I'm going to do a video about him um, later because there's a bunch of stuff coming out about Todrick Hall. But a lot of dancers are now coming out saying that they work for Todrick Hall on um, music videos for upwards of 12 hours, dancing in heels, very little breaks, and they weren't paid anything. And to me, you have to know your worth. 
Okay, just because somebody has a celebrity name, a following, does not mean that you get to take my time, my energy, and monetize it for yourself. I remember I talked about this um, a few years ago. I got booked for a music video for a pretty famous rapper. Okay, so they needed a few main girls. And so I got the email. They wanted to book me. This was when I was living in L.A. And so there was a certain pay rate, especially now that I'm SAG. So that's what I applied for. I got approved. Then what happened is that the day of the shoot, I get a, a telephone call from, I guess, the company, whatever. And the dude was like, this is your call time. This is when we need you on set. This is the location. And for me, I always go back and reiterate the pay because people in L.A. try to do really slick shit. I said, so how long is the shoot? Because one, my oldest was living with me at the time. So, you know, I need to coordinate a time for when he'd be getting out of school. I said, so how long is everything going to be so I have a rough idea so I can let my son know? And how much is the pay? Because I want to make sure what I applied for is what I'm getting paid. Then the man proceeds to tell me, oh, well, there's no payment right now. There's nothing in the budget for the girls, but it's going to be really good exposure. The video is going to be on World Star. You know, he has a big fan base. <laughs> that was my break noise, okay? <laughs> There's no pay. So you want me to be on set by 9 o'clock in the morning, call time, hair, makeup, sit there all day because music videos are an all-day venture. And I'm supposed to do this because he's a famous rapper. So not only is he going to be paid once the video is uploaded onto YouTube because he'll get money from YouTube. He'd have to pay World Star Hip Hop. But I know he'd be getting some money from YouTube, okay? Because that's his own material and stuff like that. So I'm supposed to just be happy to be in some rapper's video for free. But my gas tank doesn't speak free, okay? My rent on this condo doesn't speak free. I need coins, and if I'm going to spend some time on somebody's set for 12 hours, I'm not doing that for free. So I told them, never mind. Well, are you sure? You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a great opportunity. No, I'm not 18 years old. I'm not desperate. I'm a mother. So if you guys can't cut a check, I can't be there, and I turned it down because I know my worth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to work for anybody for free. So part of me, I don't feel bad for some of these Todd Recall dancers because I could see, okay, fine, the first time, maybe you'll get some fame off of it. You decide to just, you know, do it for free. But you've been, you've done it three and four times with him and you still weren't paid. Why? And then he's telling people that, you know, I paid $60,000 for this video, but he's going to make it back. And all of that is probably going to be a tax write-off for him anyways. So you guys are the foolish ones for continuing to put yourself in that situation and not be paid or compensated. So a lot of people put themselves in situations, then get upset and want to speak about it afterwards. Like I said, I know a lot of people who are work for celebrities for free thinking, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some free stuff for them. And then somehow it's going to, you know, catapult me. And then when they don't get the following they don't get the fame now they want to spill out the tea and tell everything so that's the thing is that at the end of the day you have to know your sense of self-worth if you want to do something for free then by all means do it but then you can't come back and complain after the fact okay that'd be like me going to go work on that rapper set being in his video for 12 hours not getting paid and then I want to come back a year or two later and blast that rapper for what when I had the choice as a grown woman just not to do the video and that's exactly what I did I didn't do the video it is what it is, you know, so there's a lot of things with that. There's a lot of nuances. Let me show you guys my nails. <laughs> They're like literally melting, melting and coming off. Y'all see all that plastic? Ew. I can literally just like peel it. Y'all hear the rhinestones and stuff? That shit better not fall off in my tea, okay? Move my cup over. It's like coming off now. So that's like the easiest way to like get rid of glass nails. You see all that gel in there? So... I'm going to soak these a bit longer. Let me throw that stuff away here. So, you know, you have a lot of people who in this day and age, they feel like they should be, you know, not only compensated, but also shouted out. As long as you're being paid, that's all I care about. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of these celebrities, they have the money, they have the budget to pay people. They pay who they want to pay. You know, and a lot of times the girls get the short end of the sticks and that's not okay. They try and tell these girls, you'll be paid in fame and, you know, uh, people will go and Google you. No, no, no. I need to be paid in damn uh, a check 
or debit, okay? That's how I need to be paid. I don't give a damn about any of that other stuff, okay? I don't speak followers and shout outs and all that shit. My time is very valuable, you know what I'm saying? So everybody should have that mentality. But as far as the shout out thing, some of y'all need to sit all the way down with that shit. I'm so tired of that now and I'm just seeing it more and more. So I can imagine people who are beauty influencers or who have like an even bigger following on like Instagram, on YouTube. I can imagine what they go through because like I said, I'm starting to get it now when I go for services and they're like, oh, that's lovely tea. Well, you know, um, you think you could do this if, if you know, for me? For, no. I'm paying for a service. You're not hooking me up. You're not doing me a favor. Did you not get, get paid? Yeah, but can you just know? If you want, you know, a shout out, you need to pay for a shout out. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of people don't understand that people are brands and nobody's about to be sitting up here working for free or allowing you to use their platform that they worked hard to build for free. Like, you're not about to use me to, you know what I'm saying, to propel your shit for, off of $40. Like, that's not going to work, you know? So I think people need to be fair. And I think the makeup artist, as long as they're paid she doesn't owe you a shout out now she wants to shout you out that's great another issue that people are saying is that supposedly meg will hire the makeup artist and hire different people to do things for her but then take credit so the makeup artist will come and do her makeup and then she'll act like she's the one who beat her face now i don't agree with that okay if somebody did something for you it's not okay for you to take credit for somebody else's work so she's doing that she's dead wrong okay these nails i didn't do these particular nails myself I did add some stuff to them, you know, um, I added some like the hologram polish to this ring finger, but I would never say, oh, I did these myself. No, I went to a nail professional to do them for me because I just didn't have the time to do them myself. You know, you don't take credit for other people's work. That's one thing I cannot stand. I don't care if it's graphic design, if it's art, if somebody did something for you, regardless if you paid them or not, do not take credit for other people's work. And I see that a lot of times, especially in the graphic design industry where people will hire somebody to create like a logo or a t-shirt and then people will act like oh I did it myself I created it myself no you didn't you're basically taking credit for somebody else's work and you guys know I don't do that just like with my t-shirt designer Jennifer that is my girl you know what I'm saying she does all my Dragon Ball T designs you know all that stuff so she gets her credit she gets paid for it she's the designer of all those I give her the concepts I tell her how I want the characters to look you know the hairstyles what I want them to do and then she runs with it as I'm you know I'm always going to be you know involved creatively but as far as the artwork, the design, she does that all. That'd be like me taking credit for her work. And I see that all the time on social media. So if Meg is doing that, then shame on her. If that makeup artist put in their time and energy to do your makeup and you paid them for a job, you don't have the right to then turn around and say, oh, I did my lashes or, oh, I did my eyeshadow myself when you didn't. You know, so she's doing that. Shame on you. Don't do that. Don't ever take credit for somebody else's work. That's not okay. You know, but as far as like her shouting people out, she don't, she don't want you no motherfucking shout out. You better get out here and get that shit yourself. You know, we just live in a world where everybody wants credit for like the most simplest stuff. And it's like, it's not that serious, boo. You got to put in work. Don't nobody owe you anything. I'm just sitting here trying to pop the rest of this nail off here they're starting to come off they're getting really loose and then i have like f shit four on this one i gotta melt off so it does take a while but i'll show you guys the end results and then usually once i get done soaking off my nails i soak everything in coconut olive in coconut and olive oil um mixed with garlic so that helps keep my regular nails also healthy as well. I also drink the hair, skin, and nail tea. That also helps. So, you know, shameless plug on that. So I kind of do like a mixture of all that stuff, especially when you like wear fake nails or glass nails. You also want to make sure that you're taking care of your regular nails underneath. And I'm so mad because when I had the baggage claim incident yesterday, it literally ripped off my real nail. So this nail is like gone. I'm really bad. But it should be back in like... A month so I'm gonna baby her 
you know what I'm saying, with oil every night and massage it so that way the nail can grow back. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on the whole Meg Thee Stallion situation and people wanting credit for the most basic stuff. You know, if you run a service, if you, let's say you have your own lash business or your own nail business or your own hair salon, things like that, if you're not going to ask every client um, to shout you out on their Instagram because, you know, this client may only have four followers, if you're not going to do that for every client, have enough respect not to do that to clients that you know have a social media following because it just makes it really really awkward okay and just know that most people who have a social media following who are a brand you have to cut a check point blank period nobody's going to shout you out if they're also paying for a service now if you work something out where you're like okay well you know, maybe they don't want to pay for a service or you want to give them a free service and they say, okay, well, fine. If you do my hair free for like an entire month, then I'll shout you out. Then that's something different. But those are all things you have to work out with that individual person. You can't be paid for a service. And then after you're paid for the service, you know, you put them in an awkward position by saying, oh, can you shout me out in front of all your followers and let them know that you came here to get, you know, your lashes done or, you know, your makeup done. And it's like, no. I have advertising packages. Um, if you want to pay for one, then we could possibly work something out, you know. So, you know, that's that's the part that just kind of makes it uncomfortable. And I'm seeing that more and more. I don't know if you guys are seeing that in the real world, but I'm starting to notice that more and more and more. And at the end of the day, nobody's going to do anything for free. Point blank, period. I don't expect free services. I've never gone into somebody's place of business and said, I'm lovely T. Give me free shit. I don't do that. A lot of times you won't even know who the hell I am. I'm just there for a service. I'm there to get something done. I don't need to make my presence known that I'm a YouTuber and all this goofy stuff. You would never know. Now, if you recognize me, great, but I am i don't introduce myself to people like, hi, I'm Lovely Teen. I'm from YouTube. You would never know what I do. A lot of times people will work with me for like months you know, I'll be going into their shop for months. And usually how they end up finding out who I am is because somebody else walks into the shop and like, oh my God, you're a lovely tea. And they're like, oh my gosh, you've been coming here for months or you've been bringing your boys to the, you know, to this barber shop for months. I didn't even realize that you were on YouTube. And so that's usually how the cat ends up getting out the bag. And then that's when you'll see people's personalities kind of change up. And, you know, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know, it's just weird. So it's all, it's all good, but I just think like, the makeup artist, they kind of made themselves look bad by blasting her on social media. And that's another thing. It's hard enough to like trust people in this industry. Um, so when you're blasting a celebrity, just know that that can affect future work. Because if they if celebrities feel like you're messy or that you're going to run and blast them as soon as you don't get your way, that can affect you getting jobs. That can affect you being booked with other celebs. So you want to kind of watch that. I'm just picking off the rest of the note and throwing it in the trash. So you want to kind of watch that if you're really trying to be in the industry. If you're not trying to be in the industry, then it doesn't matter. Blast away. But if you're trying to be one of those, oh, I want to be a celebrity makeup artist, a celebrity hairstylist, you might want to shut the fuck up. Real talk. Because trust me, a lot of celebs are taking notes. And if they feel like you're messy and you're trying to blast and tell their business, looking for clicks and views and followers, you won't get any work. So now the nails um, have come off, but of course they're dry from the um, acetone and everything. So I would buff these out and I'll be massaging and manicuring them, but that is how I take off my glass nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and I'll show you guys um, how they look in the end and I'll come back with, I guess, the conclusion of this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm done. They finally came off. It took about, I would say, 30 to 40 minutes total. So I just got done soaking my nails in warm water. And then I have the olive oil and the um, coconut oil on there. So my nails feel so much better now. Now that everything's off and, you know, able to soak my cuticles. I ended up buffing my nails. I'm with this, so with the nail buffer, getting rid of all the excess um, gel and everything else, and this was to shape my nails, and then like all the rest of the fluid um, from the acetone is in here, and because this is kind of gunky, there's glitter, there's rhinestones, so I'm not going to reuse this, I'm just going to toss this out, but I love um, that little piece of equipment, it heats up the acetone and it just helps remove any, you know, fake nails, gel polish, it removes everything really quick. And I've been using it now for a few months, so I really like it, it makes it a lot speedier. My nails feel a lot better, 
You know what I'm saying? You had to give your real nails a break, let them breathe. I've only had the fake nails on for about, I think, like a week and a half, two weeks. So right now I'm about to baby my nails, wash my hair, get dressed. I'm going to shoot some more videos, some more commentaries coming. I'm trying to catch up. But, you know, while I'm shooting and editing all those other videos, I'm going to put this up now. So you guys have something to quench your thirst, something y'all can sip on while I get ready, okay? So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for this so-called get ready with me, take off my dang on nails and just talk about random stuff, okay? But the real tea will be here soon. They probably won't be up until this evening, but at least you guys will have some to sip on until then. So I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.